One of the coolest trends when it comes to logo designing uh, based on digitalsynopsis.com is the overlapping elements. It could be applied to shapes, letters, colors, just to have a different kind of look. So, you know, we're going to try it. This channel loves challenges and we love coming up with different ideas. We're going to create our own overlapping logo with a twist. Join me. Also, you're going to search for logo and you're going to open a blank canvas. And once it's open, you're going to add your shapes. We're going to then go to elements and then we're going to add a square shape. Once the shape is added, you're going to size it. So this is how you size the shape. And you're going to change color to green. We're going to use this fern green. Next, you're going to add a triangle shape. Then you're going to change color of our triangle shape to white. And then you're going to overlap it to the like that then you're going to select your triangle shape and duplicate that at the bottom of the page so if you wanted to make a copy you could hold the shape like this so that you get a menu at the bottom of the page where you could copy and you could paste so that's that one way or you could just press duplicate to create a duplicate of that copy so then the top copy we're going to change that to black and then we're going to just move this to the side a little bit and then slide it in so that we create a gap next you're going to add that line circle so you're going to click on your plus button go to lines and shape and select that circle with lines on it then you're going to move it so that it is also aligned with your design and then you rotate it so that the lines are straight and they are even with the other design. So I would reduce that so that it's nice and even. And then I would move that to the side so that it overlaps. Once that's done, I'm going to change color to white. Your page one is done. Now you're ready to jump to page two. What you would then do is you're going to duplicate this page. You're going to click where it says one. You duplicate your page. You open your page two. And then you will select the black triangle. Change color to white. Select the white circle. Change color to green. Click on the white triangle. Bring that to front so at the bottom of the page you click where it says position and you set to front so that it slices through our design like that then we have page one looking like that sliced and we have page two with the sliced design now we are ready to download we're going to click on share download we're going to download page one and page two After they are both downloaded, we're going to add a third page. We're going to finalize our 2D design. So you click on page three, you open page three, then you click on upload. You go find where your um, 2D has been saved and you upload it to your media. Now, you're going to add page one to where we've created page three, and then you're going to select it, go to your menu at the bottom of the page, start cropping out to the white. Once it's cropped out, you're going to size it to the size that you want, align it, and then you're going to go to effects at the bottom of the page, and you're going to remove the background. If you don't have remove background, you can trial it for 30 days using my link below and um, see how you like Canva or you can use the remove.bg which is a free tool. Page one done and dusted or image one done and dusted the background removed. You're going to add 
the second design. You're going to do exactly the same. So we're going to first crop all the way to where the lines start in the end. Once you've cropped it like that, you're going to go to effects at the bottom of the page and you remove the background. Nice. Now you're going to size it and align it to your design. This is delicate work. Nicely done. And you align it so that you are happy. Last thing you're going to do is to add the name of the group. So you're going to go to your plus button, go to text and add the name of the group. So we're going to use the heading and we're going to put it at the bottom or at the side. So wherever you would like to have it, I wanted to have it at the side. So I'm going to try that. Then you're going to download the 2D as a transparent background. You're going to download just page three. And now you're ready to jump to Photo P. When you use Photo P, please use it on browser and not necessarily on the app because it frustrates when you're working on the app. Rather use it on a browser. Go to photop.com and not the app. Select PSD templates and then select mockups. And once you're on mockups, you can pick any mockup you like. I want to use this one for our design. Then you select the mockup, you click on the link, and then it opens up the mockup. Once it has opened up the mockup, be patient. Sometimes it takes longer for the mockup to open up. Maybe it would be your internet. And um, don't think it's photo P that's broken. It does take longer sometimes to load other mockups. Then you're going to go to these three lines, the layers, and you're going to double click where it says your logo here. You're going to double click there and it opens up the mockup and loads the fonts. Then you're going to hide the group copy, which is the text that the designer has created for us. And then you go to the layers again to close the layers. Then you're going to go file, open and place. Now you're placing the 2D logo that we've downloaded from Canva. And you load it like that. It's nice and transparent. You enlarge it and you align it. Then you're going to go file, save as smart object and you wait, be patient with the software and it changes the design to smart. Then you click once where it says logo mockup and you wait and it converts it to a beautiful gorgeous layer 3d logo that we just created with the interlocking in the shapes and it looks absolutely stunning file you're going to go file export as and you select png or jpeg whichever format that you would like to export as and the menu pops up at the bottom of the page you can rename your logo over there you can change the width if you're not happy with the pixelation of your logo. Once you're happy, you click on save and then it would download your file and it looks stunning. So I will see you next time.